Hi, Jodie Hill here from Thrive Law and this is the second video in my student series. I have been approached quite a lot actually from um, several students. I teach at Leeds Beckett as well and what's been happening is people are getting, and this is um, LPC but actually this applies to anyone, is that they're getting their results and they're actually really concerned that they've either, um, well a, a lot of people are failing. Um, now that might be because of COVID, it might be because of personal circumstances, um, but actually regardless of the reason, the world has not ended, you are going to be okay. So the first thing I would say is just breathe. Um, don't worry, oh my God, I failed. Don't go into that catastrophizing because it's just simply not helpful. The, the mark is what the mark is. So first of all, just take stock. Secondly, what I would suggest is go and speak to your tutor. So usually your tutor is the one that's marked your exam. Now they will be able to give you feedback on how you could improve because you will be able to do a research. So it's really, really important that if you genuinely want to pursue a career in law, you obviously need the qualification to proceed, whether that's undergraduate or postgraduate um, in the LPC, uh, BPTC or any of the GDL or um, LLBs. So any qualification if you have an opportunity to resit it, you must go and get feedback because that feedback is invaluable. Um, it could be that you're just completely off the wall and you've misunderstood the question. But actually, most of the time, you've got people have got the gist. I, I mark the exams for Leeds Beckett LPC, and you know I, I see uh, patterns. And I think ultimately, it's just about understanding how to answer the question in the way that the examiner wants. And the reality is, sometimes you don't get that right on the first time. But actually, if you put the time in and you really take on board that feedback, you'll have a really good shot of, of passing in the next exam. So the final tip that I would give is just about doing past papers and just really taking your time on all of those questions, the different types of questions. So I'll give an example because I teach on the LPC. Um, we have a series of questions, some short questions, some long questions and some drafting. Now, I would just continue to use past papers in order to um, achieve a full answer and just either swap it with a friend and mark each other's or try and get a template or guide a uh, guide of answers that that kind of sets out what you need in there. On our course, I give personalised feedback if people do that. So ask your tutors if they'll do it for you. It's really, really important that you do that. And it's really important that you read the question. So many people um, write the answer they think is the answer, but they don't read what the question is asking them to do. Um, so what I mean by that is if you're asked to advise somebody on something, advise somebody on something, don't just talk about the law. You need to apply the law to the facts and you need to establish whether it's analysis, advice, drafting, um, and you need to apply case law and authorities wherever possible. So please don't be disheartened if you haven't passed your exams recently. It's really tough times. It's not going to impact on the rest of your life. You will be fine. And like I say, follow those three tips and hopefully um, in your resits you pass. I hope this has been helpful. I'm going to do a couple more videos over the course of the next few weeks for students. So if you've got anything that you want me to cover, let me know. And if you have failed any exams or you're really worried and you don't know what to do, just DM me and I will try and point you in the right direction.